Good morning. It's Friday, May 7th, 2021. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, Fearfully and Wonderfully Made, and our scripture is Psalm 139. I will give thanks to you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works, and my soul knows it very well. Fifty years ago this morning, I became a dad. That morning was one of those truly unforgettable experiences that changes one's life. Elizabeth and I wanted a family, but after a few years of that not happening, we were wondering if we'd ever be parents. Then came Jennifer Ann, and with the truth firmly in place that a child changes everything, life, with eventually three children, began a journey of finding out just how fearfully and wonderfully we are made. Jen was full of surprises from day one. When Elizabeth went into labor, we called Dr. Matheson for instructions, probably the 200th time, and he said, come on, I'll meet you at the hospital. I wondered how he could be so calm at a moment like this. He was even more chilled back when we got there. They took Elizabeth into the labor room, and I was told to wait outside. Fifty years ago, dads were even more in the dark than these days. After several minutes, the doc reappeared and told me to go on home and get some sleep. The baby would be hours and hours away. So I trudged back home and on doctor's orders, drifted off. Ten minutes later, the phone was ringing. Congratulations, said Dr. Matheson. You're a dad. I'm not certain what it was I actually said to him, but I remember thinking, Doc Matheson, you're a man with a medical degree and 30 years of OB practice, and Doc, my two-minute-old daughter played you into sending me home. My wife's going to kill me for not being there. Thanks a bunch. Well, later that morning of May 7th, 1971, I saw that little face for the first time, and the reality that my world had changed began to take hold. A few minutes later, I beheld the face of Elizabeth, one who had done battle with labor and who knew I had been asleep while she gave birth, and I knew that my world had really changed. Milestones are simply markers along the journey. Fifty years sounds like a long time, and it is, but I tend more and more to look at it as a treasure trove of memories of the wonder and reverence of God's marvelous plan and love for us. Jen has had a life of joys, disappointments, victories, and love. She's an artist, nutritionist, accomplished musician, master gardener, wife, mother of three, grandmother, homemaker, and has even worn a hard hat pulling wires when Ken, her husband of more than 25 years, needed help on a job. Jen is strong, beautiful, and a bubbling presence filled with love, compassion, and a willingness to help. But these words are not just a resume, rather a commentary on what God has been able to create in a heart that has been open to his love and gifts. Above all the accomplishments, joys, and sorrows stands one governing force of our firstborn, her love for Christ and biblical wisdom gleaned from many hours of studying God's word along with putting that word into action in her daily life. We love our Jen and her family, along with our other children and theirs. Family is God's way of telling us just how important we are to Him. And Jen, your part of that message stands strong. Happy birthday, sweetheart. For you today, the joys of God's family are all around you, and you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Don't miss that about His love for you. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.